what's up? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Yan. I hope you lot are all doing well locked up or locked down in quarantine, cleaning your house, staying healthy, doing exercise, all that good gear, and being responsible. So, hey, welcome back to Football Therapy. Today's video is a Chelsea news video where I'm going to be talking about three headlines that have been going around the football media, trying to, I guess, dig out what's been going on behind the scenes in this turbulent time because there is stuff still going on behind the scenes. The three stories I'm going to be talking about today are firstly, Philippe Coutinho, a player that I've spoken about before a couple of times. I've actually had a bit of a deep dive and look at him in terms of his numbers in the Premier League. Very, very impressive indeed. Apparently, the news outlets today, yesterday, are saying Chelsea have already begun the negotiations with Barcelona to get the player or at least open them. Weird, right? Really didn't feel like it was a problem position, but we'll talk about that. Willian is almost certain to leave in the summer and the two most likely destinations are Arsenal and Tottenham. I do want to talk about that a little bit. And also Emerson Palmieri, the player that you think, oh, what could have been? He looked like dynamite at one point. He does want to stay and fight for his place at Chelsea, apparently, but both Juventus and Napoli are in for the player and he could be on his way. I just want to talk about him for a few minutes as well. But before I crack open all this good gear, I want to remind you guys to subscribe and make sure you do, if you want to subscribe, hit the bell notifications icon because most of my viewers aren't subscribed. So just make sure you are, man. Just click that little button, like the video if you want to help a brother out. All right, let's get into it. Before I talk about Philippe Coutinho, let's talk about Emerson, man. Because he's going to be one of those players that I don't think anyone would particularly cry for because it does feel like it's not working with the Italian Brazilian. But if he does go somewhere and he does do really, really well, which you kind of feel like he's capable of doing, it would feel like another one that's got away. I'm not saying necessarily Chelsea should keep Emerson, but I just feel, I was such a big fan of him at the end of last season and the beginning of this season. It just feels so peculiar. I guess if Chelsea get the necessary required transfer amount for him, then sell him and then put that to whatever Frank Lampard wants to use elsewhere for his project team build thing. So I get it, it just might feel like the one that's got away. A player in his prime who did demonstrate immense ability on the left hand flank with Eden Hazard and Ruben Loftus-Cheek. He hasn't even got a chance really to, well he hasn't got a chance to play with Ruben this season. So it's kind of sad really, but I guess he'll go in the summer probably to Juventus, I think. Marcus Alonso might go to Inter Milan. And both of them have actually got a lot to offer in their own way. So it kind of feels weird. And then Chelsea will have to completely reevaluate the left back spot with new players entirely. Of course, Ian Matson signed a long-term contract with Chelsea. He will back himself to be the rotational left back at Chelsea Football Club. Well, that's Belaqueta still being able to fill in, I imagine. And then, of course, there'll be a new starting left back, which is very, very likely to be Alex Tellez of Porto. So I just wanted to say a few words on Emerson, man, because I was a super fan. You could probably go back months on the channel and hear me wax and lyrical about the player and how good I think he is. So it's kind of sad, really. Oh, well, let's move on. Before I talk about the Philippe Coutinho negotiations, actually, let's talk about Willian. The Brazilian... I can't... I, I hate rhyming, man. I'm going to keep it in, but Willian the Brazilian. <laughs> So he has been a good servant, he's won a lot of stuff with Chelsea, he's been frustrating at times, he's underachieved in terms of offensive metrics, assists and goals, but he's often shown that he's got an incredible work rate right up to being 31 years old. A proper Jose Mourinho player, he's going to work a lot off the ball and track back. I think Willian is going to end up at Tottenham Hotspur. He could go to Arsenal as well. The thing is, Willian's the kind of player that I think both Mikel Arteta and Jose Mourinho would really appreciate at present. Sure, he might not be a gunslinger in terms of goals and assists, but both of them are suffering defensively, and often it's because of collective team failures. Now, if you want a forward who has got a technical ability, who has got class, and no matter what you say about Willian, he's got both of those things. You know, he's won the Copa America, he can score three kicks, he's won the Premier League a couple of times, he does score a few goals, he's got an amazing defensive work rate for a winger. People like Mikel Arteta, he wants his players to run all the time. Sure, he probably wants a bit of like the school of Guardiola, attacking game sort of thing but he'll see him and Jose will see what William brings and if they can get him on a free transfer when the you know clubs are tight anyway because they don't have much money to spend 
they'll probably both see value in that. Obviously, Arsenal might not have a lot of money coming in because they're still paying off the Pepe transfer and you know they're not necessarily going to get Champions League football well it would be very unlikely for them to get Champions League football and similarly with Tottenham Hotspur they'll be paying off the stadium and things are going to be tight anyway so Willian is probably a really favourable option for both Tottenham and Arsenal would he go? probably he wants to stay in London he's said very very publicly Chelsea won't give me the contract I want Obviously, it's probably an unreasonable contract of three years. Chelsea have offered him two years, which was his original demand. So how do we feel about Willian if he goes to Tottenham or Arsenal? If he goes to Tottenham, the song that Chelsea fans have sung for the last few years is suddenly redundant. He, didn't, he doesn't hate Tottenham, he's ended up at Tottenham. At the same time, you know, maybe it'd be better for him to go to Arsenal and join David Luiz, his best friend slash restaurant business partner. I don't know, it's all a bit weird, isn't it? Anyway, do you think Willian going to say Tottenham or Arsenal will tarnish his legacy entirely, maybe, or not at all? Obviously, Czech got a free pass to Arsenal. Let me know what you think. Express yourself in the comments down below regarding Willian going to a London rival. All right, Philippe Coutinho. We all know the situation. A Premier League superstar at one point went to Barcelona in rather peculiar fashion he sort of I guess he went on strike which off the bat is never a good sign is it Thibaut Courtois vibes still in his prime at 27 years old he's probably available well he is available for transfer from Barcelona who lent him lent him they loaned him to Bayern Munich where he you know looks good at times and they're not taking up the sort of option to buy him now apparently Philippe Coutinho is going to be available apparently reportedly for around 60 million pounds 27 years old in his prime like what a year or over a year younger than Hazard when he was sold for 120 million I'm not comparing him to Hazard he's more of a centre mid than Hazard but let's not forget for a second here in the Premier League alone Coutinho has 73 goal contributions for Liverpool um, and he's plays from central midfield remember he's kind of a playmaker creator but he absolutely can get a bunch of assists and a bunch of goals now I know this doesn't seem like a problem position for Chelsea it's striker left back whatever Chelsea have a flush midfield but if they really 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 are looking for that superstar quality to play between the lines and break down teams or just bang one in from 30 yards out uh, and curl into the top corner Coutinho could be a really 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 good option just what does this mean if Chelsea are genuinely in for Coutinho and these negotiation rumours are true? Well, what it means is Chelsea are probably not going to sign Jadon Sancho because they absolutely want a striker and a left back as well. So even if they get Alex Tellez for, say, 30 million at left back and they get like a backup rotational striker for, it looks like it's going to cost them so, so, so much, so 50 or 60 million, they probably only have 50 or 60 million left and that would theoretically go on Philippe Coutinho. I think both Chelsea and Manchester United have been put off on the price tag for Jadon Sancho. There's a lot of reports coming out saying both United and Chelsea said, no, we don't want to pay even a hundred million for Sancho, which is interesting because, you know, it would seem like he'd be worth that. So if Chelsea are thinking that, they'll go, you know what, we'll take Philippe Coutinho, proven in the Premier League, in his prime, superb quality, and he'll be half the price of Jadon Sancho. Granted, he's not a right winger, but Chelsea don't really, let's be honest, really have a problem position at right wing. Pulisic, Hudson-Odoi, and Hakim Ziyech can all comfortably occupy the right wing and the left, you know what I mean? Chelsea will probably buy back Boga or get another winger. So really, it's, I mean, I hate to remind everyone because everyone wants Jadon and Sancho. It really isn't a problem position for Chelsea. And if they're like, look, we can get some real quality with Philippe Coutinho playing between the lines for half the price, who's proven in the Premier League that he can do loads and loads of offensive bits, it might make more sense. To be honest, personally, I never thought or would think that I'd be, yeah, get Philippe Coutinho to Chelsea. But as things sort of manifest and you have a bit of time to reflect on football, Chelsea Football Club, what they're trying to do with Frank Lampard, 
how they've struggled in the past when they've had possession, they've had the ball. Jaden Sancho is great at dribbling, cutting in, superb, it would be great to have him. He's really good at counter-attacking, that's why it would probably be amazing for Manchester United. But all this season, when Chelsea have been camped outside an opposition's box and they've not been able to break them down, they need a superstar to play between the lines or curl it into the top corner from 30 yards out. And to be honest, when you think about it, that's pretty much Philippe Coutinho personified. That's the exact thing that he could offer Chelsea Football Club and for a bargain price too if you think about it. Plus, imagine the scenes, the hilarious scenes when he inevitably scores against Liverpool at one point. That's worth so much alone. Anyway, what do you think about all the stories I've spoken about in today, today, today's video? Malfunctioning again. Philippe Coutinho, give me your verdicts. Get down in the comment section below. I want to hear it. Also, Emerson and Willian. If you've enjoyed the content today, guys, I'd urge you to please do like the video because it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel and make sure you have hit that bell notifications icon. Follow me on social media as well. The plugs keep going. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick. All right, guys, enjoy the football that's not happening, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby